DCQ in the anchor, and you already know, you don't even have to look at your screen for the other side for Bandits. Without a doubt, it is Mena RD, the Capitan of Bandits, stepping up to the plate in the hot seat. Yeah, I think he's going to be going up against DCQ as well, if, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct, yeah. Just right here. This is going to be for all of it. Now, honestly, I think this situation is a little more interesting because instead of getting that 2025 payout, it's going to be 30 to the 10. You that know what means I'm saying? It's going to be a little you bigger gap or a smaller one to, you know, close Ugh. between the bandits as well as I feel like for versus Vortex, you get a little more. So this is a, what I feel like is the best. I mean, outside of, you know, obviously 40 points, but we already talked about how difficult that was going to be. All right, so here we go. This is the match that we've been looking for here in the marquee matchup for today. They dap it up. DCQ, Mena RD, JP versus the Luke. Gonna be the final game here between the Vortex and the Bandits. All right, here we go. And of course, remember, this is best of five. That means it's first to three. Mena, of course, coming off like an, an unbeaten record right now. Nobody's beat oh, him yeah. yet. Most of the time, he's gone off taking the L in the very first part of the matchup, but after that, he's taking it three straight. We'll see if DCQ could kind of dent that record. He's off to a fantastic start, though. Yeah, we get the spike. We give it a land against an RD. Mm, the drive rush, the yeah. knee cap to the chin. Jesus. And look at that. Now you're dead in the corner. Oh, Gets you. the whiff punish. <laughs> and right now, Definitely on the verge of burnout, but definitely has the lead. Tries to go for the throw. Crouching heavy punch to catch the jump out of the corner. I really like that anti-air option as well. Crouching heavy punch. Probably drive rush afterwards. Man, speaking of drive rushes, dude, Mana RD is so hard to catch. He Yo. really is. Like, I, I've seen, we've seen a lot of drive rushes kind of get interrupted. Mana RD, I feel like he's just invincible when he throws out the green stuff. Man, we've seen this parry actually be successful, but instantly Mena goes for the low finds to hit. How does he know, Steve? How does he know DCQ wants to pull up? Okay, straight into the level one, and he still has the extra one. Oh, I thought he was going to throw the spike on that tail end there. Yeah, kind of curious about that decision as well, but nothing too, uh, nothing too major, right, in regards to that error. DCQ with the life lead, goes for the feint. Oh, oh what's futile? Far. No, you're futile. You're out of here. Eat this level three, bro. Yeah, all over the carpet. Uh -huh. We just washed this. Uh -huh. The elephant got to it first. Right. In the temple, bro. Oh, okay. do enjoy. No, that's gonna hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh! Yo. What? Why was he prepared? What? Oh, no. Oh, burn burnout. out. Watch out for the departure. Oh, he was mm -hmm. trying to creep. He was doing the Mission Impossible. <laughs> got hit. <laughs> With bunch of anti-air still there intact, back to back, DCQ, ready for any type of approach except for the Damn. Oh, uh, he's getting a lot more comfortable fighting this, you know, this neutral, this up close game versus Luke right now, though. I will say that level one full screen, send him back to go. Wow. Oh man. The OD fireball to reset the situation is all in favor for Mena. They don't have to worry about the departure afterwards. Perfect carry. Word! Didn't anything with it. Oh, drive rush in there after the full screen. Uh, and now you're in the corner again. Oh, the back, back dash on the no throw. Punish. Just a little too slow. Oh, the uppercut. <sighs> Close enough. Close Ooh. enough. What? But doesn't get the kill, and he's in chip range. He oh. oh, he didn't have enough life for the DI. Oh, With yeah. great yeah. awareness for DCQ well, like not to be shaken right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You're not going to have enough to DI back. Mm. Or you're not going to have enough to DI in general or absorb a hit. Okay, and... Yo, Mena sticking with the Luke on top of it. I like that. I like that. Pretty telling, though. Mm. Just so pretty comfortable. He didn't do too poorly, right? I mean, he still kept it pretty close. Really did. Okay, I was about to say, the same exact situation, the drive rush, clips the start up, and now pushes, tries to go for the throw. Man, how did DCQ know? He just jumps out of the throws so easily, I feel like. He's got all the right reads. He still got Yeah, he, he delayed it. Oh. That's fine. Hey, yeah. he gets to minimize the damage. Only thing is, he's full screen now. Drive definitely become a becoming a sought after factor right now. Mm, tries to get the punish long distance with the dash rush roundhouse. Couldn't find a connection. 
been very buttons for uh, very buttons before DCQ in terms of just like throwing out the normals. It's not going to be mostly like projectiles that we expected those archers. No way to really safely set that up because Mena RD has drive rushed yeah. over so many times to punish either the projectiles, uh, misplaced spike, etc. So you know DCQ, he's been slowing down for that exact reason. Yeah, you, that's definitely true, especially after full screen knockdown, right? Nice interrupt with the crouch jab, and once again sets up the departure. After that, yeah, the faint, and then he's chilling, right? Now he's playing neutral again with normals. Set up the goon squad, watch out for the drive rush, perhaps go with the defense, mm. and the low exposure. DCQ getting a mm. gang of damage. Let me see the double oh. departure. Give him the round trip. Give him the round trip. And look at the lane game coming to play. In front of him, too. I love the departure setups right now from DCQ, keeping it safe. He wants to do damage to the drive gauge. Oh, the big my opener. God. Eight seconds left on the clock. You have to get a hit. Teleport in. Oh, he went for the command throw. Mena was ready, though, and then he oh hits God. him with the overdrive. Sandblast, he's so smart. There was a giant rock in that pocket of sand. I'm telling you, man. Oh, oh, he's so smart oh, sh -sh How did he know? How does he know when DCQ wants to move forward? I'm just holding the parry right here. Oh, wow, just raw sweep on the drive rush. And then gets clipped by the crouch jab. Oh, once again. Uh. Forward throw, hold on. Mena. That's so scary. He's in, oh, I was going to say, he might not want to overextend, but the drive rush forward either way to keep enforcing the point on offense. The punish counter on that allows DCQ to get the damage, but not only that, the archer. Damn, that was a mad damage action. Mm, from long distance, gets the counter hit. Mena tries to interrupt. He's going to eat this level two mix up because of it. Oh, the again. A subtle clapping pop off from the bench of versus Vortex. They all looked amongst each other. It was like, hmm, good round. Good round. I agree. Hmm, yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Going into it again, drive rush from DCQ, trying to find that low. I saw a drive impact earlier to kind of stop one of the goons coming out. Oh, damn, that was within range. That was super far. Okay, gets the counter hit, crouch jab this time, knockdown, goes for the low phantom. Great anti-air awareness. Parries once again. And now he's too far. I would be like, yo, you need to look for the throw right now. But the perfect parries, two in a row, gets the knockdown right after it. Makes him hold that heavy, that roundhouse starter target combo. Oh. Oh. Unlike the reaction to drive rush right now. He actually could have drive rush right behind it. DCQ is playing so well right mm -hmm. now. He is playing completely passive against the Raging Bull, right? He's parrying a lot of these fireballs. He's waiting for the forward movement. As soon as he gets the knockdown, then he'll start his offense. The mm. overhand, not ready for it. This is the first time we've actually seen Mena yeah. fall yeah. short in a team battle. You haven't done delay crouch medium punch whenever you get in. He's blocking every time that you press a button or he's teching. So like, I think maybe try a delay button to catch him with the counter hit. Also, you're jumping a little bit too much. He hasn't been throwing ghouls against you in neutral. He's not throwing the ghosties against you in neutral. He's either doing sweep or dry brush, crotch medium punch, or waiting for you to do dry brush. You get what I, I'm saying? I, I, um, no, I, 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 I say three points. The first point is the left photo. When so speak louder, far, speak louder. Uh, when uh, three points. Uh, first, uh, if so far he want to uh, try uh, level two, and when he try west for uh, me, me, uh, crouch median kick, you you can DP. You can DP when he try west. You can DP the first. The the second, you don't need to try. Uh, you try the uh, dry west for night punch, not medium punch. And if it is just not in a good maybe he tried many many uh matchup for another you can try banana uh, uh blanca uh, uh that's your choice it's okay i'll try this i'll try this okay i think you're playing good just chill out on the jumps he hasn't given you a reason to jump okay all right here we go yo this is crazy right now hold on hold on Nina rd down in this team match here. Versus Vortex. Baseline in this song is so sick, by the way. Cap jams. 
That's, that's facts. That's actually facts. Oh. Full screen. Oh, drive rush to get even better positioning in the corner. Oh. Anti-air just was so, a little bit shy. So smart from NRD at the right angle too, just an empty jump to catch DCQ off guard. You can't anti-air all of them, Big Tony. Mm, got the counter hit on top of it. Sets up the OD departure. Low Phantom on the follow-up. One thing you pointed out is like, I love how he sets up, you know, one spike right in front of him sometimes after the knockdown. Especially now that he knows the drive rush is something that he likes to do. Exactly it. Yep. We tried to do it again, but NRD actually got the trade-off to prevent the departure from happening. And look at that now. Mena wow. and Burnout. And now he's playing the lame game again. Looking for a back throw. 100% in the back dash from JP. And now it's getting super interesting. Close to Mena going no down. 0-3 oh, style, by the way. Mm. No, the jump in is huge. Level this two. is going to be important for DCQ. He just needs a single touch after this, I feel like. Or at least, you know, two and a half more touch. The drop! What in the world? OD. Oh, another one! How does he know to evade these throws to jump all the time? DCQ has made all the right reads against what Mena's trying to do on offense. A misplaced crouching medium punch, mistimed. It's very, very uncommon. Very rare, excuse me. Blocks. Ethan's looking so good with DCQ right now. Set up the departure, the second one coming on in. And my man is just walking. There's the parry, perfect one. Has to hit a no button. Way. Full screen. He doesn't have this level, damage, does he? Uh, no way. Level one. Nope. Departure though. No. Axie goes for the Phantom. Oh. Men are not walking forward. He has CA. Thing is, JP's in burnout. DCQ in burnout. Oh, he got hit. hit. To the win condition. Oh, back oh throw. no! One sequence from Mena could actually kill DCQ! If he gets a hit right here, Mena RD has another chance at life. He needs another round though, and he Level reacts three. to the act of Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! OD departure! You are dead! Oh my god! Yo, the sizzle! Check for the sizzle. My man's eyes are swollen and he still got the level three. The CA. Oh my god, Mena RD. He only needed one touch. Does that do enough mental damage to throw off DCQ? Will it give the momentum that Mena needs to bring himself to life? Oh no, he got hit. He didn't get to have the throw. Wow, look at this conversion right here. Delay on the get up, wait for the amnesia, and here comes Mena RD. Big damage. What a throw. Throw him one more time. Oh, don't, I lied to you. I lied to you. Punish counter. Are we gonna get the side switch? No, he's setting him full screen instead. Mm, mm, the damn damage. it! Oh my the god, damage. DCQ! Chris Tatarian hands on his head. It looks like it's about to end in ruin. The and he's a there. burnout too. He just did like 60%. No Mena RD goes down to DCQ versus Vortex. Successfully makes the bull go the other way. And the rest of the team as well. That's going to be a 30 point game for versus Vortex. And now Bandit's only 10 coming out of that. Not even 20. And that's why I say this might have been one of the better outcomes for the season overall for a lot of these teams to keep it a lot closer. But now versus Vortex. Vortex looking like the team of last season, looking like the champs of last season, taking out one of the heavy hitters. We didn't even consider the 30 point ball game. We were so stuck on the idea that Mena RD is looking rather invincible, but this is the first time, the very first time throughout this league where Mena RD has been completely shook. Three games straight in favor of D, C, Q, shooting them up into third place, going over UIU. Going over Red Rooster. Ladies and gentlemen, completely unprecedented. Versus Vortex, really, really showing out as the former champs. Uh, and this is what I was talking about. This is literally what I was talking about. The fact that, look, if it would have went 2025, obviously it would have gave them better points. But it also would have gave Bandits even more points. And it would have made that gap a little bigger between some of those other teams. I feel like now, by making Bandits stay a little closer to Earth, it makes it a lot more interesting. And on top of that, it makes it a lot more attainable for one of these teams to overtake Bandits in the other half of the season. This is exactly the kind of street fighter you want to see. I cannot believe that played out that way. Like you said, I, was, I knew that the 40-point game was possible. I knew it. But I also thought about the fact, I'm like, look, 
Minna is going to be in that lineup no matter what. Of they have to of at course. least get I, 10, right? I'm not going to lie to you with the way that, that, that Mena has been playing day in, day out, week in, week out. He has been so, so impressive, right? I feel like he didn't skip a beat. This is the first time we've actually seen him make some slight errors in terms of execution and timing, right? So again, there's something about DZQ that happened to have him shook. Not yeah. like super significantly shook, but enough to get 0-3, right? So that's that says a lot about versus Vortex and their preparation.